Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Wansnick with the Cornell Food and Brand Lab. We're here today to talk about medicine. We did a study a while back with almost 200 people who had just been treated for flu and for colds that had been at the hospital a little bit earlier. And what we did is we, um, we had them pour medicine in spoons. And just like Aaron, I'm asking you to pour the amount of medicine you'd pour if you're going to treat yourself. Now what we find is that the typical person, 70% of the people, don't use that little cap on the top of a medicine bottle, nor do they use a teaspoon. Instead, they tend to use something like this, like a teaspoon, a tablespoon. But these tablespoons tremendously bias how much you pour. In fact, if it's a smaller size tablespoon, people serve themselves about 20% less. If it's a larger size tablespoon, like many of us might grab out of our, out of our uh, kitchen, you can pour about 20% more. Now that's not that much if we do it once, but we don't do it once. We end up doing this four to six times a day, four to six days in a row. And it's either less effective than it can be, or it's a lot more effective. It's overly effective. So the thing you need to do is keep in mind, use some sort of dosage, whether it be a little syringe thing, whether it be that cup, whether it be an actual teaspoon and not these big honking tablespoons. You feeling better, Aaron? Uh, a little bit concerned about when I medicate myself. <laughs> well, thanks. Have a great holiday. See you soon.